Hello and welcome back as we gather together for our devotion time as we read about the 52 Bible characters and the book has been written by Kenneth Osbeck. Today's character is Zacchaeus and our scripture comes from Luke chapter 16 verse 13. No servant can serve two masters. You cannot serve both God and money. The cheering and exuberance of a crowd caught my attention. I ran eagerly toward the gathering to see what could be happening. Stopping to rest a moment, I stood on a rock to look ahead, but I was much too short to see over those around me. Who is it? I called to someone. Why, it's that prophet from Nazareth called Jesus, they shouted. Haven't you heard about him? I was curious. What kind of man could create such a stir? I ran ahead of the crowd, straining to see better. Even the window ledges and rooftops were already filled with people. I dashed on until I saw a sturdy sycamore tree nearby. Breathless by this time, I managed to pull myself up to the lowest branch just as the mysterious prophet approached. People shoved each other and clamored around him, many calling out for his help. Several, several of his helpers were having a difficult time clearing a path for him, but the prophet remained calm with such a kind expression on his face, in spite of all the confusion. I could see him clearly as he moved along until he was directly under my tree. To my amazement, he stopped abruptly, looked up at me, and called my name, Zacchaeus. I was startled. How could he possibly know my name, this man that I had never seen before? Zacchaeus, come down immediately, he called out. I must stay at your house today. Almost tumbling from the tree, I smoothed out my clothing nervously and began leading the way to my home. As we walked along, I turned occasionally to look at the crowd. Many had now drawn away from us. Others pointed their fingers at us with sneers. I could hear them murmuring, Can you believe that Jesus will be the guest of a sinner? I knew I was commonly hated and often called a sinner because I was a tax collector for the Romans. My duty was to oversee the tributes that our Hebrew people must pay the government. Since they thought that I often demanded more payment than they really owed, the Jewish people no longer considered me to be one of their own. Rather, they looked upon me as a traitor and a friend of the hated Romans. Perhaps I had been overly ambitious in seeking a position of power when I reached manhood. Possibly this was because I had never received much acceptance when I was young. I had always been short in stature, and my playmates taunted me with such comments as, Isn't that little Zacchaeus ever going to grow up? My greatest desire as I grew older was to be admired and accepted. With hard work, I reached the high position of chief tax collector for the entire region of Jericho. Although the job paid well and made me quite wealthy, my luxurious home and comfortable lifestyle had not made me happy. With little true friendship in life, I felt increasingly restless and lonely. But now, even with the jeers of the crowd behind us, this gracious stranger continued to walk beside me calmly as I led the way to my home. It was truly the most wonderful day in my entire life. As Jesus visited with us, his teachings pierced through my heart. He made me aware of my greed and dishonesty and the shallow pride and ambition that made me put a desire 
for recognition above the love for my people. I was ashamed and repentant that I had used my position to treat others unjustly. With love and compassion, Jesus revealed a better way of life that would be mine if I simply trusted him and followed his teachings. No one had ever gone no one had ever before made me feel so worthwhile. As I sat at his feet listening for hours, I was filled with remorse and a deep desire to please him. Lord, Lord, I exclaimed as I rose to my feet, here and now I will give half of my possessions to the poor. If I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus gazed at me for a moment with loving approval. Then turning to the others who had gathered outside my home, he declared, Today salvation has come to this house because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. There were still some self-righteous people in the crowd who were openly critical of Jesus' action. The master rebuked them by calmly stating, The Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. I knew for certain that Jesus had given me a changed heart. At least I felt that I was truly loved and forgiven. A Jewish person of genuine worth, it no longer mattered that I was small. A scripture reference is also found in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. And here are scriptural reflections. This story illustrates the truth that sinners who display a truly penitent attitude are more worthy of Christ's forgiveness than persons pretending to be pious. A broken heart is the first step to spiritual wholeness. All my theology is reduced to this narrow compass. Christ Jesus came into this world to save sinners. He became poor that we might become rich. He was born that we might be born again. He became a servant that we might become sons and daughters. He had no home that we might have a mansion in heaven. He was bound that we might go free. He was made he was made sin that we might be made righteous. He died that we might live eternally. And then a few words from Joseph Hart. Come ye sinners, poor and needy, weak and wounded, sick and sore. Jesus ready stands to save you, full of pity, love, and power. Let not conscience make you linger, nor of fitness fondly dream. All the fitness he requireth is to fill your need of him. Come, ye weary, heavy laden, bruised and mangled by the fall. If you tarry till you're better, you will never come at all. And also words from an author unknown. In the home, Christianity is kindness. In business, it is honesty. In society, it is helpfulness. Toward the unfortunate, it is the helping hand. Toward the sinner, it is evangelism. Toward the erring, it is forgiveness. Toward ourselves, it is self-control. Toward God, it is worship, love, and service. And two suggested hymns. Jesus, what a friend of sinners, and higher ground. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.